What I'm looking at here is CSSZenGarden.com in its normal document flow. Uh, what I've done is I've disabled all styles on the page and I'm just looking at the raw HTML and seeing the way things are stacked up on top of each other. As you can see, uh, when, I, when I move uh, my browser around, certain behaviors happen um, with the text, like for example, it expands and it shrinks as needed, and everything's stacked on top of each other. And we have select the design down at the bottom, and at the very top we have you know uh, the beauty of CSS design. But now when we look at the document with all its styles enabled, it functions much differently, right? We have, for example, all this text is now floated to the left when before it was just stacked on top. We have select the design up at the top, uh, position to the top right over here, and before it was all the way down at the bottom. Now, in order for you to be able to create an effect like this, you need to know what the document looks like at its most basic level, and that would be the normal flow of the document. From there, from understanding the normal flow, which again is completely unstyled, you know how you're going to need to position things to get a desired outcome.